Convergence to International Financial Reporting Standards, IFRS. By Abbas Vadalai, Assistant Professor, Amal College of Advanced Studies, Nilambur. Topics to be covered. This video is discussing about meaning of accounting standards, objectives of accounting standards, moving towards global accounting standards, introduction to IFRS, history of IFRS, Indian accounting standards converged with IFRS, INDS, India's roadmap to IFRS, difference between IFRS and GAAP, benefits of convergence with IFRS, components of IFRS and standard setting process of ICAI. Meaning of accounting standards. Accounting standards are written policy documents issued by the expert accounting body covering the aspects of recognition, measurement, presentation, and disclosure of accounting transactions and events in the financial statements. The Institute of Chartered Accountants of India being the premier accounting body in the country had set up the Accounting Standards Board, ASB, on April 21, 1977 with key objective of formulating accounting standards to harmonize varied accounting policies. Objectives of Accounting Standards To harmonize accounting policies and practices followed by business entities. To standardize diverse accounting practices adapted for various aspects. To eliminate the non-comparability of financial statements. To improve the reliability of the financial statements. To provide standard accounting policies, valuation norms, and disclosure requirements. At present there are 27 notified accounting standards issued by ICAI which are applicable to non-corporate entities including small and medium-sized enterprises. Moving toward new global accounting standards. There has been significant progress towards developing a single set of high-quality global accounting standards since the IASC was replaced by the IASB. IFRS have been adopted by the European Union, leaving the United States, Japan, and China as the only major capital markets without an IFRS mandate. As of 2018, 144 jurisdictions required the use of IFRS for all or most publicly listed companies, and a further 12 jurisdictions permit its use. Since 2002, America's Accounting Standards Body, the Financial Accounting Standards Board, FASB, and the IASB have collaborated on a project to improve and converge the U.S. generally accepted accounting principles, GAAP, and IFRS. Introduction to IFRS Different accounting standards are followed worldwide to tap varied national economic and social forces. Much of the diversity have resulted from deeply entrenched differences in legal systems, income tax systems, historical, political and economic ties. Ongoing globalization of the world economy has brought to the forefront the problems engendered by differences in these accounting reports. Uniformity, rationalization, comparability, transparency, and adaptability in financial statements are very much required for true cross-border economic and financial integration. History of IFRS The debate on international harmonization of accounting standards started in the 1960s. It formally commenced in 1973 with the establishment of the International Accounting Standards Committee, IASC. Between 1973 and 2000, the IASC developed a comprehensive list of accounting standards and interpretations, a conceptual framework and other guidance. In 2001, the IASC formally restructured into International Accounting Standards Board, IASB. All 41 standards issued by the IASC were adopted and were amended and updated according to industry and accounting needs to be renamed as IFRS. As per IFRS Foundation report, as of September 2018, 87% of profile jurisdictions require IFRS standards for most domestically accountable companies, 15 of 20 G20 economies require the use of IFRS standards. The remaining major capital markets without an IFRS mandate are I. The U.S., with no current plans to change. 2. Japan, where voluntary adoption is permitted but not required, and 3. China, which intends to fully converge at some undefined future date. 
Indian accounting standards converged with the IFRS, INDS. India is a recent participant in the IFRS adoption chain when the Ministry of Corporate Affairs, MCA, announced its roadmap for adoption of the Indian accounting standards, INDS, from the financial year 2016 to 2017. It has been decided that there will be two separate sets of accounting standards viz. I Indian accounting standards converged with the IFRS IE INDS and two existing notified accounting standards. INDS are issued by the Central Government of India under the supervision of Accounting Standards Board, ASB, of ICAI and in consultation with National Advisory Committee on Accounting Standards, NACAS. Efforts have been made to keep these standards in line with the corresponding IFRS and they have been named and numbered in the same way as the corresponding IFRS. Government of India's Commitment to IFRS Initially INDS were expected to be implemented from the year 2011. However keeping in view of certain issues including tax issues, the Ministry of Corporate Affairs decided to postpone the date of implementation. INDS has become a reality now with Phase I and Phase II companies have already published slash are publishing their financial statements as per INDS. Initially, banks and insurance companies were required to implement INDS from FI 2018 to 19 onwards. However, AirDay has deferred the implementation of INDS for insurance companies to financial year 2020 to 21 and RBI has deferred the implementation of INDS for banks to financial year 2019 to 20. US GAAP The GAAP is a set of principles that companies in the United States must follow when preparing their annual financial statements. The measures take an authoritative approach to ensure consistency in the financial statements submitted to SEC. This enables investors to make cross-comparisons of financial statements of various publicly traded companies in order to make an educated decision regarding investments. Differences between IFRS and USGAAP Treatment of inventory Under IFRS, the LIFO method of calculating inventory is not allowed, while under the GAAP, Either the LIFO or FIFO method can be used for estimating inventory. Intangibles, under IFRS, intangible assets are only recognized if they will have a future economic benefit. GAAP, on the other hand, recognizes intangible assets at their current fair market value and no additional, future, considerations are made. Rules versus principles, under GAAP, the accounting process is prescribed highly specific rules and procedures, offering little room for interpretation. On the contrary, IFRS sets forth principles that companies should follow and interpret to the best of their judgment. Recognition of revenue, the guiding principle of GAAP is that revenue is not recognized until the exchange of a good or service has been completed. Conversely, IFRS is based on the principle that revenue is recognized when the value is delivered. Statement of Income Under IFRS, extraordinary items are not segregated in the income statement, while, under USGAAP, they are shown below the net income. Development costs can be capitalized under IFRS if certain criteria are met, while it is considered as expenses under USGAAP. Coverage IFRS is implemented in more than 100 countries worldwide, whereas USGAAP is applicable only to United States of America. America. Benefits of convergence with IFRS Increases the transparency and improves the level of understandability and comparability between the financial statements of companies across different countries. Better market efficiency, increase in capital formation and greater economic growth of India. More foreign capital flows to India and lower cost of raising funds from abroad. More international business collaborations and joint ventures. Lower cost of preparing financial statements, no multiple reporting. More relevant, reliable, credible, timely, true and fair and comparable accounting information to investors and other stakeholders. Difficult for companies to commit accounting frauds like Enron and Sutyam due to principle-based standards in place of rule-based standards. 
more opportunities and greater mobility for Indian accounting and auditing professionals to work in different parts of the world. Challenges for India in adoption of IFRS There are differences in economic, social, legal, and regulatory environment across countries. There is lack of availability of actuarial professionals in India to determine reliable fair value. There is lack of clarity on tax implications of convergence with IFRS. India does not have adequate IFRS professionals having practical experience of convergence. Resistance towards change from politicians, industry, and other stakeholders also poses a great challenge. There is a need to change several laws and regulations that govern financial reporting practices in India. For e.g. Companies Act, Banking Regulation Act, RBI, SEBI, and IRDA regulations, etc. Components of IFRS The major contributing elements of IFRS include International Financial Reporting Standards, IFRSs, developed by the IASB. International Accounting Standards, IASs, issued by International Accounting Standards Committee, IASC, and adopted by the IASB. International Accounting Standards, IAS, Interpretations issued by the Standard Interpretations Committee, SIC, and the IFRS Interpretations Committee, IFRIC, of the IASB. The Conceptual Framework for Financial Reporting International Accounting Standards Board The International Accounting Standards Board, IASB, is the independent, accounting standard setting body of the IFRS Foundation. The IASB was founded on April 1, 2001, as the successor to the International Accounting Standards Committee, IASC. It is responsible for developing international financial reporting standards, IFRS standards, previously known as International Accounting Standards, IAS, and promoting the use and application of these standards. International Accounting Standards Committee, IASC The International Accounting Standards Committee, IASC, was founded in June 1973 in London and was replaced by International Accounting Standards Board on April 1, 2001. It was responsible for developing the international accounting standards and promoting the use and application of these standards. The IASC was founded as a result of an agreement between accountancy bodies in various countries. International Accounting Standards IAS, are older accounting standards. IFRS Interpretations Committee The IFRS Interpretations Committee IFRIC, is the interpretative body of the International Accounting Standards Board IASB. The Interpretations Committee works with the Board in supporting the application of IFRS standards. The Interpretations Committee responds to questions about the application of the standards and does other work at the request of the Board. The Old Standard Interpretations Committee SIC, is currently known as IFRS Interpretations Committee IFRIC. The Conceptual Framework for Financial Reporting the conceptual framework sets out the fundamental concepts for financial reporting that guide the board in developing IFRS standards. It helps to ensure that the standards are conceptually consistent and that similar transactions are treated the same way. The conceptual framework also assists companies in developing accounting policies when no IFRS standard applies to a particular transaction, and more broadly, helps stakeholders to understand and interpret the standards. The standard setting process in India. 1. Identification of areas. 2. Constitution of the study group. 3. Preparation of draft and its circulation. 4. Ascertainment of views of different bodies on draft. 5. Finalization of exposure draft. 6. Comments received on exposure draft. 7. Modification of the exposure draft. 8. Issue of Accounting Standards INDS are issued by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs, MCA, of Government of India under the supervision of Accounting Standards Board, ASB, of ICAI and in consultation with National Advisory Committee on Accounting Standards, NACAS. Thank you for watching. For e-text for this video, please visit my academic blog www.commercelecturer.wordpress.com.